Alright, hey, this is Ryan from FML Studios Tutorials. And Charlie. I'm not really helping, but I'm more spectacular than Ryan, so I thought I was worth mentioning. Alright, let's go sit in the corner. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a muzzle flash in After Effects. So, I'll just open that up here. Now, you're going to want to go to File, Import, to get your video file in there. If you don't know that already, you probably do, but I'll just tell you anyways. Just wait for that to load. Cancel that. Alright, so after you get that in, you're going to want to click on it over here and drag it into the composition pane right here. Then you're going to want to download, if you don't already have, an effect, like the actual muzzle flash. And then a good way to get that is actionmovieessentials.com. Just go there. There's some free downloads you can get. It's a pretty good site. Detonationfilm.com is another place. It's a good place to go to. Alright, so I got mine already on here, so I'll just get those ones. I suggest getting the Muzzle Flashes Unit K4, because that's one I have, and that's the only good free one they have, so. Alright, so you're just going to want to drag this on here for now and put it here so you can see what you're doing. And then just drag the time indicator across and find one that you like. This is kind of the, the bad part about it, is that they're all in one file and you have to look through, but it's not that big of a deal. Right. There was one I was using earlier, but I don't, I can't find it. <coughs> Charlie, do you know where it is? Um, was it before or after it that shot? Right there. That was a shotgun, though. Sorry. You better say sorry. Oh, there we go. Well, that's what I want. Happy day. All right, so then you're just going to come to the beginning right here and drag it. You're going to pick this up, drag it over here, shorten this to about that size. Just make sure you're not cutting anything off and make sure there's nothing running on. That's good right there. All right, so now you're just going to want to shorten this so you can see what you're doing behind there. It's cold in here. Alright, and then find the time in the video where you sh first shoot your gun. Which is right there. Use the frame button. So right there is about when I shoot my gun. So you're going to want to drag this over here. Right when you can see the actual flash like that. Drag it up here. And you're going to want to right click right on the video file. Go to blending mode and screen. That'll take away all the black, so all you have is the flash, so it'll blend nice into your video. You just click the rotate tool up here, rotate it, you know, just to move it to fit to the end of the barrel right here, just to make it look good. Alright, then you're going to want to come down here and click on this little arrow, and then this one. And since we're going to be doing the rotation and the position just to move it to fit the end of the barrel when it moves, you're just going to click this little stopwatch here and this one here. Alright, and then we're going to press the next frame button. You can see the barrel moves up there, so we're going to want to just move this. You can kind of see the smoke, probably not in the video, but just move it where the end of the barrel is at the end of that video. And we'll do it one more time. Even though you can barely see that, we will do it because we can. Because we can. Alright. Now we're just going to click off here so we don't see that in there. Watch that. It's going to be slow because I didn't render it, but it's fine here and I'll be fast. Beautiful. And that will look amazing with some sound effects. Now here's where it kind of, it's basically the same thing. You just want to do the second one here. Let's find that first. Alright, but to make it easier, just click on it, press Control C, click down here, press Control V, and that will just copy that same thing. And then you want to go to this arrow on the new layer you just put in. This 
last one and then unclick these stopwatches because that will delete all the keyframes that you put there before so you can move it without the actual video file moving and being confusing. So we'll just find the beginning of this again. That's good. And again, there's the rotate button up there. Let's move that into position. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna go back over here again and click the position and rotate buttons. So that'll make the keyframes for it so they'll stay in that position at that point. So the next frame again, just drag that up there, rotate it, next frame, good enough, click off, and there you go, you got some muzzle flashes, that's all I'm going to do, because I don't feel like doing the rest of it because it'll take a long time. And let's see what the last one is. Right there. And if you don't know how to do this, I guess I'll show you. To do all this together, to export this, you gotta go to composition, add to render queue, and it'll like add the current composition you have loaded over here to the render queue over here. Alright, and then and you can change these settings to however you want, like to make it where you want it to go out to. I don't really care at this point. Just click on here. And if you want audio to come with it, like the actual audio files, just click on the audio output checkbox there. All this stuff doesn't really matter. I mean, if you want to change it, you can. But I don't care at this point, so I'm going to leave it. Press OK. And then you just press Render. And that will go through the entire clip for you and it'll render the whole thing so you can output it and use it in a video editor and add the sound effects and I'll be showing you how to do that in the next tutorial let's wait for this to render that's already done so I'll just stop it here alright so then we can minimize this if I even know where I rendered that to probably <laughs> All right. The deception coming to a theater near you. <laughs> I have no clue why I put that. Maybe it's in here. You think so? Nope. You don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. Good videos. Maybe it's in here. Who knows? K-O-T-P to Oh, it's just in here. Oh, it's right here. Alright, sweet. And now this should work. And I have to cancel this because I have an illegal version of it. Probably shouldn't say it on YouTube. Whatever. And I need to cancel it because if it updates, it screws things up. So, see, the audio is working. So you got to check that box if you want the audio. And there you go. You got that. So I'll show you how to use that and put sound effects in it for the next tutorial. So this is Ryan from FML Tutorials. And you have a good day. And always remember, if there's a panther in your pants, you're pretty much screwed. You just gave away your position as Jehovah, the gay blender tutorial guy. Darn. And by the way, if you want to check out our other videos, our other After Effects tests we do, just look up FML Rock. It's our channel on YouTube. Some of our band stuff on there. So just look that up. So, see ya.